and welcome to YouTube Youth Talks. Welcome to particularly Show and Tell Corner. Um, we've had some really great things sent in this week. Isaac and Ben have uh, illegally met together. I have reported you. And um, they have made a finger painting of a tree, I think. Um, it's really, really good. They didn't use their fingers. They drew on the dots. Um, they obviously didn't understand finger painting. Good try, boys. The police are on their way. Um, and next, uh, ooh, another creative illegal meetup between Esther, Alicia and Maddie. Now, they've made a paper chain. Um, they were aiming to make the longest paper chain in the modern era. Let's see how they got on. I mean, that's pretty long. Well done. It, it reaches between the flowers and the tree. Good work, girls. The police are on their way. Uh, now, oh, this is fun, a joke. Nathan Reed has sent in a joke on a biblical theme. They're always the best kind. Now, Breckenridge, you ready to hear the joke? Why couldn't Cain go to the... Why couldn't Cain, Breckenridge, go to the toilet? Because he wasn't able! Woof, if you found it funny, Breckenridge. Meow. Mm, didn't go well. Um, good try. Keep those jokes coming in. Um, ooh, now Leah has sent in uh, just a copy of her driving certificate. Uh, just to remind us all uh, that she got no minors and no majors. 100%. Well done, Leah. Good driving skills. And uh, let's see what we've got next. Ooh. Ooh. The Hodgkinsons have been trying their hand at... Um, animal impersonations. Let's see what they managed to do. Here we go. Meow, 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 cock, meow, cock, Pretty good. Made Breckenridge turn around and pay attention. I could even tell what kind of chicken that was, boys. Good work. Um, and finally, oh. Aidan, Ashton and Ben have got together illegally again and they've made a smoothie. They've posted it in, in this envelope. Lovely, let's just have a, have a go. Reckon we should look, what's this? Lovely boys, thank you Breckenridge. Drink? No, not keen. Breckenridge, sit down. Okay, um, thank you so much for all of the things you sent in this week. And uh, now over to Harry for the tour. Hello, uh, last week at the beginning, I asked you what gets you <coughs> excited? Uh, and this week I'm asking a different question. I'm asking what doesn't get you excited? What do you hate more than anything? And I'm not talking, you know, like you might say, I hate broccoli or carrots and stuff like that. Uh, but and you know Grace, for example, she hated cheese and Bella the dog. I'm not talking stuff like that. I'm asking what makes you sad, uh, what makes you uh, feel awful inside, what makes you cry tears of pain, what brings you real <coughs> heartache. Uh, for me, uh, my dad died when I was very little. There I am, just a cute little baby, a cool baby, um, and so I don't really remember him. But obviously, m my mum does. And so when it's uh, their wedding anniversary or the anniversary of their death, my mum uh, will get really sad, she will cry. And so I've seen her cry and I've seen her mourn, uh, mourn, mourn him, remembering him. And you know, that I think is what makes me the saddest. That is what brings me the most pain, seeing my mum so upset. I hate it. I wonder if you got a similar thing like that. But these things are just awful, aren't they? These horrible feelings are just awful. But today we, we're going to see that these things, which make us sad, can also get us excited. So I'm going to read Revelation uh, 21, 1 to 4 now, which says, Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, 
coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, beautifully dressed for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Look, God's dwelling place is now among the people, and he will dwell with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be there with them, and be their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death, or mourning, or crying, or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. So we see in, in this the best reason uh, heaven and new creation is going to be so good. God will dwell there. But today we're going to focus just on verse 4, which says, He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. So think back to what makes you really sad what makes you feel awful inside, what makes you cry tears of pain and heartache, those feelings, those pains, will not be in heaven and the new creation. Why? Well, it says, because God will get rid of them just as easily as wiping a tear away. And who would normally wipe a tear from your eye when you're sad? It would probably be your mum or your dad or someone that really loves you probably be a bit weird if someone else did like if your, if your teacher tried to come and do it you'd be like get away from me you freak like it would not be right it needs to be someone that loves you uh, and so when he wipes away those tears the old way the, the life that is now will be gone all this sadness uh, all this sadness right now in this life is the result of the fall uh, because of the presence and the power of sin in this world but Jesus he came down uh, he died on the cross and he rose again and he defeated the power of sin and he took the penalty of sin and when he returns again he's going to uh, he's go he's the presence of sin will be wiped away just as easy as, as someone wiping away a tear from a small child's face this new life in heaven and the new creation is going to be amazing I mean just think of think of your best time uh, for me, or probably for you guys as well, a lot of you, maybe it's you know at, at Sir or, or Spartford or the summer camp you go on and you're there with your Christian mates and you're having a great time and you all genuinely love each other and you all genuinely love Jesus and it's amazing, isn't it? It's great. And that is just a small taster and glimpse of what heaven is going to be like. And heaven, you know, it's going to be infinitely, infinitively times better than those times, than your best time here on earth. So when things make you sad and they make you mourn and they make you cry, you can get excited because you know that one day, if you love and trust Jesus, you will go to a place where, verse 4, he will wipe every tear from your eyes and there will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain for the old order of things has passed away. So yes, mourn, and cry and be sad when something terrible happens, but also get excited. Because when these things happen, it will just make the prospect of heaven e even more the sweeter. Just think, just think of uh, having an ice cream. The thought of having an ice cream is good, isn't it? But how much better is the thought of having an ice cream after a 10 mile walk? It's a very good thought. And so, and so times when we suffer and cry, we can get us even more excited. So, get excited. Uh, Zan is now going to pray for us. <laughs> Your boy. <laughs> Let us pray. Thank you, Father, that you promised to wipe away every tear that we shed. Thank you that in the future there will be no more pain or suffering. Help us to remember this when we are feeling sad or overwhelmed by what this world is concerned about, particularly in this current time of uncertainty in the midst of the coronavirus pandemic. Help us this week to get excited about this future, that when we get to heaven, the old order of things will have passed and we will have a new life with you for eternity. Amen. Amen.